Reverend Insanity. Chapter 171 Inbred Demonic Nature What, Father, you want me to solve the case? The girl pointed to herself, her face in utter shock. Why, are you unwilling? Tai Zhu Leng smiled gently. No, no, of course I'm willing. Tai Ruo Nan finally reacted, jumping in joy. Tai Zhu Leng nodded, sighing in a complex tone. You aspire to walk the same path as me. These few years where you were by my side, you have been greatly influenced by me and learnt much. An eagle can only learn to fly by itself, only then can it truly grow up. Your father is old already, my injuries cannot be cured. I cannot continue being with you as you live your life, and as the newer generations replace the old, what happens next is up to you. Father, don't give up yet, isn't there still hope for treatment? The young girl's voice trembled as she choked back tears. You and I both know that the chances are infinitely slim. People have to learn to face facts, Ruo Nan, Tai Zhu Leng laughed, then turned towards Gu Yu Bo. Don't worry, Gu Yu clan leader, this daughter of mine has learnt at least 80% of my abilities. With my guidance along the way, she will not let your clan suffer any injustice. Of course, of course. Gu Yu Bo quickly cupped his fist, young heroines are on par with males, such an elegant disposition and the child of a hero, there is no reason for me to worry. Please come to the village and let us feast upon your arrival. The dishes filled the entire table with the fragrance overwhelming the surroundings. Clear wine was poured out from the wine jar in a straight line into Tai Zhu Leng's cup. The wolf tide was just over, and Gu Yu village was in its toughest period. Large amounts of resources had been expended, causing a food shortage and lack of commodities. Many mortals would starve to death. But even so, to welcome Tai Zhu Leng, Gu Yu clan still assembled this banquet. As the clan leader, Gu Yu Bo sat at the clan head's seat, while Tai Zhu Leng and Tai Ruo Nan were beside him. Other than that, Gu Yu Kai Zhang, Gu Yu Ji Yan, Gu Yu Mo Chen, Gu Yu Yao Jai, as well as Fang Yuan and the others, all being elders, were present. Before the wolf tied, Gu Yu clan had over a dozen clan elders. But now only one table remained, and there were less than ten elders. Moreover, the clan elders present were all injured to varying degrees. Especially in the case of Gu Yu Mo Chen two weeks ago, when he resisted the wolf tide, he was heavily injured and had been hiding in his private room to recuperate. He was resting in bed, but when he heard about the arrival of Tai Zhu Leng, he forced his body up and attended this banquet. But this also let him escape the crisis, while his old rival Gu Yu Kai Lion had followed the clan leader in assaulting the Thunder Crown Wolf and was killed by the Lightning Lichen. If not for Brother Tai's help today, I might have become the Lightning Lichen's lunch already. For saving my life, I toast Brother Tai this cup. Gu Yu Bo stood up, holding the cup with both hands and bending his back, sincerely offering his gratitude. I was only doing what I could. Tai Zhu Lang raised his cup, drinking the wine in one go. He had a vigilant and strict lifestyle, refusing to gamble or find prostitutes, standing by his morals and never went greedy on drinking. He had thus never been drunk. After drinking this cup, Gu Yu Bo looked at the people in the banquet, his eyes turning red, sighing and sitting down. Tai Zhu Lang had seen such situations many times, and he consoled, Gu Yu clan leader, my condolences. As long as your clansmen still exist, the village will definitely thrive again one day. That lightning lichen was heavily injured as well, and the lightning wolves have greatly been damaged, they will not attack for the next few years. This wolf tide has been safely endured. The wolf tide's harshest period is indeed over. For the next few months, although lightning wolves will still appear, their quantity will continue to decrease and no large groups will be formed. The wolf packs no longer have the ability to directly charge at the village. The lightning lichen will return to the wolf den and recuperate there, while slowly organizing the remaining wolves. Many wolves will be recalled and many lightning wolves would die, causing the wolf pack's need for food to decrease drastically. The wolf packs would become self-sufficient, and in the next few years they would gradually get stronger, 
during which new hundred beast kings bold lightning wolves, thousand beast kings frenzy lightning wolves, and myriad beast kings thunder crown wolves would appear. At its peak, it begins to weaken, and at its weakest, it begins to prosper. Regardless of humans or wolves, they follow such a law. But although Tai Zhu Leng's words were right, humans are not grass or trees, they have feelings. The Gu Yu clan leader understood this fact much better than Tai Zhu Leng, but the misery and pain in his heart was unavoidable. The sacrifice was too big. Just the higher-up clan elders were already gone by at least half. As for the rank 2 and rank 1 Gu masters, they had an even larger amount of casualties. The entire Gu Yu village strength had fallen to rock bottom and could no longer endure any more disasters. Why is it that you guys do not counter-attack and go wreck their den? On one side, Tai Ruo Nan could not understand and asked in confusion. That is because inside the wolf den, there are over dozens of groups of thunder gas worms, amounting to over a million of them in total. There are also large numbers of wild goo mixed in. It is hard to cause any damage to them, unless all three clans work together, Gu Yu Yao Jai explained. Saying so, she suddenly snorted, staring at Fang Yuan, but this possibility is too small. Even within our clan, there are clan elders shrinking in fear, and during the wolf tide's attack, God knows where they were hiding. Saying so, all the other clan elders turned their vision towards Fang Yun. Previously, Fang Yuan was inside the rock crack secret cave exploring the flower wine monk's inheritance, causing him to miss the huge battle in resisting the wolf tide. In everyone's eyes, this was being crafty and evasive, as well as being timid and fearing death. Thus, the clan elders' expression towards Fang Yuan were all full of unhappiness, disdain, and some hidden anger. Even Gu Yu Bo's expression was looking ugly. As the clan leader, he was most revolted by people like Fang Yuan, doing things according to their own will, mysterious, and having their own little schemes. He could not feel safe with such a person around. The atmosphere at the banquet immediately transformed. The Thai father and daughter also felt this change, following everyone's gaze and looking towards Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan's young appearance had attracted the attention of Tai Ruo Nan, who was the same age as him. Fang Yuan drank his wine calmly. Even though everyone's gaze was on him, he acted as if he felt nothing. His expression was calm, as he already had anticipated such a situation of people finding problems with him. Things are getting troublesome, he sighed in his heart. Although worried, he was not frightened. Tai Zhu Lang's appearance had heavily destroyed his plans to leave. If he took the Heavenly Essence Treasure Lotus and destroyed the foundation of the Gu Yu village, this would cause the Tai father and daughter to arrest him. The name of Divine Investigator is not just a myth. With his abilities and strength, as long as Tai Zhu Leng commences his chase, there is no possibility of failing. Even if he does not take the Heavenly Essence Treasure Lotus, his mysterious disappearance would cause the clan to investigate. As it involves Jia Jin Shang's death, even the Tai father and daughter would get involved. If he left without notice in their eyes, it would be a thief trying to escape, running from his crimes. With no choice, Fang Yuan could only choose to stay and observe the situation. Although everyone reprimanded him, the situation now was still not at its worst. If he left right now, that would be a panicky move, and it would cause the entire situation to worsen. Is the wine nice? Gu Yu Yao Jai laughed sinisterly, staring at Fang Yuan. Aren't you going to explain? Fang Yuan slowly put down his cup, raising his head and looking at Gu Yu Yao Jai's broken arm. The old are the most cunning, this is extremely true. To preserve her life, Gu Yu Yao Jai broke her own arm, and under the name of being injured, she avoided the clan mission of entering the battlefield. This happened in Fang Yuan's previous life as well, but to think she did the same thing once again. Her act of sacrificing one limb to save her life was indeed effective. It prevented her from getting killed by the Thunder Crown Wolf and not participating in the chase, thus keeping herself alive. 
However, right now she was finding problems with Fang Yu and one aspect was due to old grudges, but mostly was because she wanted to bring the attention to Fang Yuan and reduce people's attention on herself. What do you want me to explain? Explain how you broke your own limb just to preserve your miserable life, Fang Yuan sneered. What? Gu Yu Yao Jai was shocked and enraged, standing up from her seat. She stared with both eyes wide open, pointing at Fang Yuan's nose, shrilling, You little rascal, how dare you accuse me like this? This is blatant defamation slander. How can you be so shameless? How can our Gu Yu clan have such a joke like you? Gu Yu Yao Jai, Gu Yu Bo's expression changed, shouting, Sit down at once, we have an important guest here, how can you scream and shout freely like this? Gu Yu Yao Jai wanted to continue scolding, but on seeing Gu Yu Bo's dim expression, she could only swallow the words she was about to spit out. She stared angrily at Fang Yuan, sitting down reluctantly. Gu Yu Bo settled Yao Jai's problem, then turned to look at Fang Yuan, Elder Fang Yuan, I need an explanation. During the attack of the wolf tide, where were you? Fang Yuan, he's Fang Yuan. Tai Zhu Leng's eyes shone with surprise. In Jia Jin Sheng's mysterious disappearance, Fang Yuan had played an important role. Before coming here, Tai Zhu Leng had already gotten much intel from Jia Fu. But to think that this young elder was Fang Yuan himself. At once, Tai Zhu Leng's heart became interested. He had solved numerous cases and could see the peculiarity from all the traces of evidence to guess the actual fact. From everyone's expression, he could tell the truth behind Fang Yuan's sudden evasion from battle. But the truth that everyone knew was only scratching the surface, what is the utter reality? Regardless of what the truth is, Fang Yuan's answer would reveal a fragment of his inner thought. That would be very helpful in solving the case later. Sensing Tai Zhu Lang's attention on him, Fang Yuan's heart tightened, but his expression remained the same. He looked at everyone plainly, and a mocking smile appeared on his face. There's not much to explain. Since Clan Elder asked, I'll just say it out. I was extremely frightened back then. The stress accumulated during this extensive period, as well as my fear of death that had reached its limits. I could not endure it, I was cowardly and weak, I hid in a corner and no longer dared to enter the front lines. Once he said so, everyone was dumbfounded. They had expected Fang Yuan to use all sorts of excuses and reasons and were prepared to expose his lies and criticize Fang Yuan, but to think he admitted it directly. Any kind of lie, as long as it is not true, will have loopholes. Furthermore, Tai Zhu Lang is here. Fang Yuan's expression was calm, looking down and staring at the wine in his cup. Tai Zhu Lang's expression turned weird. He subconsciously frowned, and a sense of loathing and antipathy rose in his heart. This young man, he has an inbred demonic nature. Chapter 172 No one more suited than Fang Yun. At the banquet it was utter silence. Everyone was stunned, staring at Fang Yun blankly. They had not expected him to reply like this, directly admitting it so honestly. He's too young after all, actually saying such words. HMPH, once he said that, it means his entire political career is ruined. From now on, this Fang Yuan is no threat anymore. The clan elders furiously assessed. At this point into the wolf tide, the outcome had already been decided. In the next few months, there will only be small wolf packs moving about. As the lightning lichen continues to call them back, as well the, the goo masters killing them, the lightning wolves would basically vanish completely by the end of the year. But conflicts never end. At places with people, there are interests. And where there are interests involved, there are conflicts. During the wolf tide, it is the struggle between man and wolf. But now that the toughest part of the wolf tide is over, the clan's internal struggles surface above the water, turning into internal strifes. The wolf tide assaulting the village caused many goo masters to die. Some factions were destroyed, and the interest they once held naturally has to be distributed. Among the Gu Yu clan higher-ups, there were originally many clan elders to divide the interest cake of the entire village. 
But now that only Fang Yuan and the other elders amounting to less than ten remained, that cake was still whole and intact. To split this large cake among themselves, they would have to compete against one another. Political battles, although not as flashy or bloody as the wolf tide, was full of schemes, plotting and setting traps. It was difficult and harsh. At first, Fang Yuan as the only newly advanced elder had a strong momentum and attracted great attention. But now that he admitted his mistake, it completely ruined his political career. It was tantamount to giving up the chance to compete for this interest cake with the other clan elders. At once, Fang Yuan's threat level towards the other clan elders became much lower. Their gaze towards Fang Yuan showed that the pressure they felt towards him had reduced. At this time, clan leader Gu Yu Bo sighed, Since Fang Yuan himself admitted to it, as clan leader, I have to punish you for the act of running away from battle. According to the clan ancestors' rules, runaways will be stripped of their clan elder status, but the final result shall be decided by me and the other clan elders. We'll decide on your punishment after a discussion. But regardless of the result, I hope you can accept it. The others showed a weird expression. Fang Yuan nodded, not speaking, as if he had submitted to fate. Gu Yu Yao Jai broke her own arm to save her life, this was decisive and ruthless. Fang Yuan was the same, except he lost even more, giving up his clan elder status. His greatest problem now is the sudden appearance of the Tai family father and daughter. If he got involved in the political turmoil now, facing suppression from other elders, his situation would get even more dangerous. Letting go, willingness to let go, among taking and letting go, that is life. The identity of clan elder was to cultivate better, that is its only purpose to me. To pursue eternal life I walked on the demonic path, I am willing to discard my own life. What else can I not discard? Clan elder status, HMPH. Fang Yuan did not feel a shred of regret or annoyance. This was the wisest decision. Moreover, although there's a punishment, it would definitely be minimized. After all, there were little clan elders left, and as a rank 3 Gu master, his strength was greatly valued. The clan leader has to punish him on one end, but also needs to borrow his strength to stabilize the entire village circumstance, thus he also needed to give in to Fang Yuan. As for the other clan elders, Fang Yuan had stepped out of this political contest and no longer held any threat. They would not offend Fang Yuan anymore. After all, if they force Fang Yuan to retaliate, isn't it finding trouble for themselves? Although there is the clan system, but what is a system? He he, a system is just a tool to maintain the interests of those in power. On one hand it governs and divides the interest of the lower levels, but it is also the rules that contain the higher-ups as they compete against each other. Fang Yuan laughed coldly. These matters he was clear as day, the truth was transparent to him. The most crucial point now is the Tai family father and daughter. Fuck, they came much earlier than I had anticipated, even before the wolf tide is completely gone. HMPH, but such a behavior perfectly fits Tai Zhu Leng's hatred towards evil and his selflessness in fighting crime. Thinking of this, Fang Yuan felt a strong pressure. Even though Tai Zhu Leng is injured now, his battle strength was not something Fang Yuan could compete against. A starving dying camel is larger than a horse, it is this logic. I need to leave the village, but I also need to avoid the pursuit of the Tai father and daughter pair. How can I get out of this predicament? Fang Yuan was vexed. This Tai family father and daughter was not as easy to confuse as Jia Fu. Moreover, Fang Yuan's cultivation was too low. Even if he had a thousand and one plans, what could he do without actual strength? Rank 3 and 5, it was a world of difference. Everyone, I have something to say. At this point, the silent Gu Yu Mo Chen suddenly said. His expression was pale as he had dragged his injured body to the banquet, and he did not drink wine, only sipping tea. But what he said next shocked people to death, there's something I have to be honest about. Elder Fang Yuan did not manage to enter the battlefield, and that was due to me. What? At once, the other clan elders were shocked. Oh, what do you mean? Gu Yubo asked. 
Fang Yuan sent a glance over, hiding his shock. Why would this Gu Yu Mo Chen stand up for himself? During this wolf tide, the Mo faction inheritor Gu Yu Mo Bei had already died unfortunately. Even though the Mo faction had to the greatest of their ability protected Mo Bei, on the battlefields surprises were aplenty. Moreover, during the wolf tide, everyone was in danger. Sometimes they can't even take care of themselves. What more towards others? Gu Yu Mo Chen sighed. To speak the truth, my granddaughter Gu Yu Mo Yan had fallen deep in love with Elder Fang Yuan. Before this, she had come to beg me, kneeling on the ground and crying, not willing to see Fang Yuan die on the battlefield. I only have one granddaughter, thus out of selfishness, I kept Fang Yuan in my estate and knocked him out. It was only until we chased the lightning crown wolf that I let him out. Thus, everything was due to me, it is my fault. It has nothing to do with Fang Yuan. What? Oh, is that really it? The clan elders were suspicious. Gu Yu Mo Chen's words were quite a stretch. It was rather unbelievable. Love and relationship among youngsters is common, Gu Yu Bo nodded, staring at Fang Yuan with deep meaning, wanting to find out some clues from his expression. But Fang Yuan looked down with a calm expression. There was nothing to see. Clan leader was disappointed. The other clan elders exchanged glances, not understanding why Gu Yu Mo Chen was so defensive of Fang Yuan. Him saying this in order to aid Fang Yuan, it meant that he had sacrificed his own reputation and ruined his own political prospect. Gu Yu Mo Chen continued, In order to protect my reputation, Elder Fang Yuan willingly let himself suffer the injustice. But I have already erred once, how can I make a mistake once more? This is the truth. As for the punishment, I implore Lord Clan Leader to consider. I admit my mistake, and as with the rules, if my clan elder status is to be stripped, I have no objections. Clan leader quickly waved his hand, saying, Elder Mo Chen has worked hard all these years. What you did was understandable. Humans are not grass or wood. How can we not have feelings? Now that our clan is greatly weakened, we need loyal and strong elders like you. But this is still your own selfishness, thus the punishment still needs to be decided. We have an important guest today, let's not talk about this now. Come, Brother Tai, I and the clan elders shall offer you a toast. Saying so, Gu Yu Bo stood up. The other clan elders stood up as well, raising their cups. Everyone is too kind. I still have to trouble you all later, I hope I can seek your understanding. Tai Zhu Leng did not put on airs, standing up and drinking his wine. In the courtyard of the Mo faction, flora and fauna were abundant. The artificial mountain had a spring flowing with crystal clear water. In the night sky, the moon hung high in the sky like a plate. The banquet had long ended. Fang Yuan sat in the cooling pavilion as he listened to the sound of the flowing water, and he placed down his teacup with a plain expression. Sitting opposite him was Gu Yu Mo Chen. After the banquet was over, he had invited Fang Yuan over for a discussion. Come, have another cup of tea. This bamboo leaf clear water tea is good in eliminating hangovers. Gu Yu Mo Chen laughed, pouring personally into Fang Yuan's cup. Fang Yuan's expression was calm, and on seeing the cup being filled again he said, Indeed a good cure for hangovers. Saying so, he looked outside the pavilion, only to see that the pale white moon had radiated the grounds with its moonlight. Under the moon, the pavilion was quiet and graceful, but in the wind there were lurking shadows showing how the Mo faction courtyard was turning from a prosperous state to a declining one. During the banquet, Fang Yuan had already understood Gu Yu Mo Chen's intention. Seeing this scene, he was even more sure of himself. The Mo faction had no inheritor left. Once Gu Yu Mo Bei died, the entire Mo faction would lose its inheritor. Although Mo Bei still had his sister Mo Yan, the clan rules was that, since ancient times, it favored males over females, and the assets can only be inherited by a male and not female. Even if Gu Yu Mo Yan gets to rank 3 next time and advances to clan elder, her assets do not represent the Mo faction, but only her own. If she married anyone, this asset will be transferred to under her husband's name. 
If they lost their inheritor, a clan's political influence would have no prospects, and no one would join them. The Mo faction had already fallen into difficult circumstances on the verge of breaking down. But heaven always left a way, and the Mo faction was not truly at its wit's end. There was still a sliver of hope. This hope lies in Gu Yu Mo Yan's hands. Although she is a female, she can marry someone. If the son-in-law marries into the Mo faction, he would have an acceptable status and can inherit the Mo faction. Seeing that Fang Yuan had no inclination to mention it, Gu Yu Mo Chen scolded this crafty lad internally, but had to speak, I wonder what Elder Fang Yuan thinks of my Mo faction. He had an unspeakable grief. Ever since his injury, his cultivation had fallen to rank 2, without any chance of ever regaining rank 3. He could only rely on his goo worm to conceal his true aura, but paper cannot cover fire, he would be exposed one day. His only inheritor had died, while he himself was rank 2 and would lose his clan elder identity. Guyu Mo Chen needed someone who could hold the fort to sustain their faction. Back then, he had both authority and status, thus the Mo faction controlled a large amount of the interest cake. But now that the clan's factions were reorganizing themselves, he did not want any more interests. As long as he can defend what he already has, that would be the biggest victory. He pondered left and right, and the most suitable person was Fang Yuan without doubt. Chapter 173 White Form Immortal Snake Sunset clouds are blown away as cool wind fills the air and the jade disc spins silently in the Milky Way. Bai Ningbing looked out from the window and gazed at the night sky. A bright and sparkling moon was shining in the sky. Occasionally, wolf howls could be heard in the distance, adding some bleakness to the peaceful moonlight. In the study room, the Bai clan leader was sitting at a side with a dazed expression. Just a moment ago, Bai Ningbing told him about the Northern Dark Ice Soul Physique. Northern Dark Ice Soul 10 Absolute Aptitudes the Bai clan leader mumbled constantly. I have already sensed that my end is nearing, my aperture is gradually unable to endure the burden. These past few years, I've truly caused you much problems, Bai Ningbing softly sighed. His expression was calm. No longer was there the abnormal reckless and crazed state as before. What replaced them was tranquility and peace. This tranquility and peace came from his heart. He had found his path, and was no longer perplexed by life and death. People mature over time, and the stimulation from life and death could further speed up this process. Moonlight fell down like flowing water, illuminating Bai Ning Bing's fair skin. Under the flowing radiance, his two blue eyes shone with depth. He was like a beautiful young man from a painting, with white hair and white clothes like the immortals in the clouds, causing people to look intently. How could this happen? You were clearly a grade with 99% primeval essence when your aptitude was tested. It absolutely wasn't the northern dark ice soul. The Bai clan leader was still refusing to accept it. It was indeed so. But one day when I was cultivating, my aptitude suddenly advanced. I checked the ancient scrolls and records in the clan and found some information on this. Every 99% a great aptitude has the possibility of advancing to 10 absolute aptitudes while cultivating, Bai Ningbing said. All 10 defy the heavens and the heavens can't tolerate them. Even Ren Zhu's 10 children didn't have a good end. Sai, is there really no way to salvage it? Bai clan leader felt pity and regret when he looked at the beautiful boy in front of him. He was the clan's pride and their hope to rise up in power. However, his life was already nearing its end. Despite glowing brightly, he was like a firework which could only shine splendidly for one single moment. There are no ways to evade my impending doom, but there are some ways to delay it. However, all these methods need many years to prepare, which I don't have. Bai Ningbing said all this and gave a light laugh, as if the one being discussed about was not him, but some irrelevant outsider. Don't worry. Who doesn't die? True immortality doesn't exist. As long as we live our life interestingly, it is enough. He was instead consoling the clan leader. I cannot accept this. I absolutely cannot. Damn it, 
my Bai clan has been suppressed by the Gu Yu clan for centuries, we finally found hope, but it ends up like this. No, there is still hope. Bai clan leader's voice got louder and louder till suddenly, his expression turned firm as if he had decided on something. Follow me, I will bring you to a place. He stood up and said, After a while, the bright moonlight shone upon a deep pool. This is the spirit spring, Bai Ningbing asked. He had been led by the Bai clan leader as they went through a long secret pathway and finally arrived here. Indeed, this is our clan's restricted area, the location of the spirit spring. You also know this every clan's foundation is established upon a natural spirit spring, where the primeval stones produced by it will be used to provide for their cultivation. Our Bai clan can only be considered a small medium scale clan and only by annexing Gu Yu and Chen clan as well as possessing at least three springs can we become a large-scale clan, by clan leader side. Then clan leader, what did you bring me here for? By clan leader's face revealed a complex expression, and as he turned around to look at Bai Ningbing, his expression contained some hesitation. I had originally never thought of bringing you here. However, the affairs of the world are hard to anticipate. To think you would end up possessing Northern Dark Ice Soul, your only chance at living lies within this spring. What is in this spring? Bai Ningbing asked. A great immortal, Bai clan leader said with a deep voice. Great immortal? Bai Ningbing was flabbergasted. Great immortal is its title. It is a snake goo left by our Bai clan's first generation ancestor. It likes cleanliness, and its food is the water of Spirit Spring. It has always been secretly living in the spirit spring, by clan leader introduced. Before the first generation ancestor passed away, he set up a secret inheritance and left behind this snake goo as a clue. If you can get the approval of the great immortal, it will open the secret inheritance for you. But if you can't receive its approval, the by clan leader stopped his sentence in the middle. What happens then, by Ningbing asked? Bai clan leader's expression turned grave, and he said, It will kill you. At the same time, Gu Yu village. Inside the room, Tai Ruo Nan kept her recon Gu and nodded with satisfaction. The environment here is pretty good, it's rather clean. The clean, she referred to wasn't talking about the cleanliness of the room, but was pointing at the lack of surveillance. It was impossible to say that there absolutely wasn't any surveillance. After all, Tai Zuling was rank 5, so he possessed too great of a threat. Hence, there was a necessity for some precautions. However, Gu Yu clan's defensive and surveillance measures were just at the right amount, and the level was quite low too, not creating any feelings of provocation and aversion. It could even be taken as excessively earnest and passionate reception, which was why Tai Ruo Nan gave the assessment of rather clean. Tai Zhu Leng slightly nodded. Ruo Nan, you have followed me for so long and have learned many things. However, some things can only be learned by taking actions and not just by spectating from the sides. Hence, I handed this case to you. Father, I will definitely work hard and give my best. Good. Then, let me ask you, what should your next step be? Tai Zhu Leng was deliberately testing her. Tai Ruo Nan smiled. She turned around and gazed at the moon through the window. The moon is beautiful tonight. Dad, can I have the pleasure to take you around this Gu Yu village? Upon hearing this, Tai Zhu Leng revealed a gratifying smile. When starting out on a case, it was not urgent to understand the details of the case. The first step to solve a case was to survey the surroundings. The father and daughter pair slowly walked through the streets, after resisting the most terrifying attacks of the wolf tide, Gu Yu clan was now in a wretched state. There were collapsed bamboo buildings and bloodstains all around. Junks were piled up all over the place and feeble moaning sounds of crippled people could be heard from time to time. The Thai father and daughter pair walked around the village without saying any words. Fang Yuan, you bastard, fuck off! Suddenly, a loud roar came from within a courtyard. The Thai father and daughter stopped walking. After a long while, the courtyard gate opened and Fang Yuan walked out while rubbing his nose with a vague smile on his face. 
Hello, little brother Fang Yuan. Tai Zhu Leng took the initiative to send his greetings. Junior pays his respects to Lord Divine Investigator. Fang Yuan constrained his smile and cupped his hands. Little brother, we are new here and don't know the place well. Is it possible for little brother to tell us a thing or two? Tai Zhu Leng suddenly asked. Tai Ruo Nan glanced at her father, but she didn't make any comments. Fang Yuan's gaze hardened, he was just about to go meet them, but this opportunity was delivered right up to him. Both of you have traveled a great distance and suffered hardships to come and solve the case, the whole village ought to help you. Please follow me. Fang Yuan spoke directly without showing the slightest evil intention and walked in front. The spirit spring was raging like the boiling water. All of a sudden, the spring water rose up like a tidal wave. After it reached a certain height, the spirit spring scattered and splashed in all directions. A slender white snake, its whole body covered with snow-white scales, tread on the waves and revealed its elegant appearance. Its eyes were like jade, cold and indifferent. On the two sides of its head were a pair of long whiskers, floating like celestial ribbons. Rank 5 White Form Immortal Snake Goo I pay respects to Great Immortal, my clan leader emotionally kneeled on the ground and at the same time anxiously urged, Bai Ning Bing, why are you not kneeling down? I will never kneel before a Gu. Bai Ning Bing coldly snorted, his body standing upright and tall. Although the white form immortal snake Gu released an ethereal cold grandeur with heavy killing intent concealed within, Bai Ning Bing was not the least bit afraid. His two blue pupils directly stared at its snake eyes. Time seemed to have stopped at this moment. The spirit spring and the Bai clan leader had become insignificant background objects. Under the bright moonlight, the picturesque youngster with blue pupils and the silver whiskered white snake gazed at each other. After a good while, the white snake suddenly gave a long cry and turned into a white rainbow, slamming into Bai Ning Bing. Bai Ning Bing's body jolted. The white light entered his aperture and turned into a white snake. The white snake occupied the central area of his primeval essence, and with its tyrannical attitude, all the surrounding goo were immediately forced to the side. This situation, by clan leader stood up with a puzzled expression. It doesn't match what the clan's secret records say. According to the clan's secret records, once a goo master obtained approval, the white form immortal snake goo would fly with the inheritor and open the inheritance in the sky. However, the current situation was somewhat weird. The white form immortal snake goo took the initiative to enter Bai Ning Bing's aperture and didn't kill him, which should mean that it had approved of him. But why didn't it carry Bai Ning Bing and fly to the sky? Could it be that the secret records were wrong? Bai clan leader couldn't make sense of it. Time quietly flew by. That more or less sums up everything about Guyu village. There is the underground cave, but that is a restricted area of the clan and outsiders aren't allowed entry. Fang Yuan said. He looked at the bright moon in the sky and continued, It is getting late, please go and rest. You need to have the energy to investigate tomorrow, right? Ha ha ha, Elder Fang Yuan is correct. We are really thankful for Elder Fang Yuan's directions. Please go and take a rest, Tai Zhu Lang said. In that case, I will take my leave. Fang Yuan cupped his hands before directly leaving. Tai Zhu Lang looked at Fang Yuan's figure with interest, and only after Fang Yuan turned into a corner did he take back his gaze. Muo Nan, what do you think of this Fang Yuan? he suddenly asked. I don't like him, my intuition tells me he is covered in shadows. The young girl frowned. Tai Zhu Leng nodded his head. I know you have the intuition goo which strengthens your intuition, but we need definite evidence to solve a case. Just relying on intuition alone won't be convincing. Don't always depend on your intuition, I do not want you to use the intuition goo to solve this case. Yes, father. Chapter 174 Junior Divine Investigator. Tai Zhu Leng said again, Now, analyze this person Fang Yuan. Father, you suspect it is Fang Yuan? Tai Ruo Nan was stunned, but continued, He is a very logical and intelligent person. 
and when he introduced the village to us, every word he said was appropriate and well organized. Gasp. Tai Ruo Nan suddenly drew in a mouthful of cold air. She frowned. I didn't notice this earlier, but after you just reminded me, I realized it. This Fang Yuan is too good at speaking. Everything he said is objectively the truth, abandoning his personal feelings. Standing at a bystander's perspective and describing calmly. Not allowing others to find flaws in his words, thus not able to get additional clues. His words were very, very, very clean. The young girl hesitated before using the word clean. Tai Zhu Leng nodded but then shook his head. He did not abandon his feelings. Everyone has feelings and even a cold-blooded murderer has feelings. He only concealed his personal feelings very well and was in full control of his emotions. This lad has a demonic nature. Demonic nature? That's right, think about it. He spoke the truth during the banquet, saying he was frightened and did not dare to enter the battlefield. Tell me, if it was a normal person, would they do that? Tai Zhu Lang asked. Tai Ruo Nan shook her head. No, Gu Masters put the clan's honor and their own reputation higher than their own lives. But that might not be certain, for in history there have also been many people who sacrificed their own reputation, right? That's right, but who were those people? Tai Zhu Lang's gaze was deep. Tai Ruo Nan considered, before her expression changed, they were all outstanding individuals. That's correct. Throughout history, those who sacrificed their own reputations only had two aims. One was that they had a greater aim in mind, and compared to their aim, reputation is worth nothing. The other is to preserve themselves, defaming themselves to prevent suspicion. Tai Ruo Nan's eyes shone. Father, you are saying? You are thinking too much. I just feel that this young man is very interesting, but too bad he is only a C grade, Tai Zhu Lung said. The moonlight was like water on this night. Fang Yuan walked on the empty street, his footsteps slightly heavy but filled with determination. After interacting with Tai Zhu Lang earlier, he was indeed what the rumors said. This Tai Zhu Lang had a gaze that could see through the world, and his intelligence and wits were deep like a chasm. He swept through the southern border for tens of years, establishing his famed name. He really was an outstanding talent. Wanting to remove his suspicions in front of such a person was extremely difficult. As long as they had enough time, they would definitely discover the truth. Now is a race against time. But Mo Faction's recruitment, I can make good use of it. Not long ago in the Mo Faction Pavilion, Fang Yuan had given absurd demands. In return for marrying Mo Yan, he wanted a hundred thousand primeval stones, ten rare goo worms, and each at least rank three. This made Gu Yu Mo Chen furious. He was marrying away his precious granddaughter, but Fang Yuan still had more demands. Such a shameless way to ask for gifts, and so greedy, it was really the last straw. Thus, the discussion faltered, and he chased Fang Yuan out. Fang Yuan left immediately without any inclination to stay. He knew Mo Chen's intention, thus he would definitely compromise. His absurd demands were just a way of bargaining, paying the lowest price when buying and asking for the highest price when selling. But this matter has equal benefits and demerits. Although with more primeval stones I can feed the heavenly essence treasure lotus, my original plan to get out of the political spiral would be ruined. In tonight's banquet, Gu Yu Mo Chen sacrificed himself to salvage my political career. From then on, he might face all sorts of elders' suppression. Gu Yu Village's political situation now was, clan leader was healthy, while for the two important elders, Gu Yu Kai Lian was dead, but the Kai faction was not finished yet, as inheritor Kai Cheng was still alive. At the same time there was still Gu Yu Kai Zhang, an elder from the same faction. But Mo faction lost its inheritor and Mo Chen was heavily injured, falling to rank 2, unable to even keep his clan elder status. The two formerly large factions had already gone downhill. The medicine faction in contrast were mostly healing goo masters. As supports they had little sacrifice while still keeping most of their strength and were on the verge of rising up. 
Medicine Faction was originally the clan leader's faction, but now it had the ability to be independent. Regardless of whether Gu Yu Yao Jai chooses to be independent or rely on the clan elder, in order to strengthen themselves, they would need to snatch and merge, and the weakened Kai and Mo faction were the best targets. If they did not strike now, later on when the two factions stabilize internally, it would be much more difficult. Being in the human world, many things are not up to me, why not just let down my hair and sail away to the seas? Sailing with the winds and breaking waves as I travel 30,000 li, that is the true demonic path I take. Fang Yuan raised his head, looking at the moon as he sighed. He wanted to get away from the political spiral, but Gu Yu Mo Chen dragged him back by force. He faced pressure from all the factions, and Tai Zhu Leng was already starting to solve the case. On the other hand, Bai Ning Bing had already regained his new arm. Like a boat traveling in the darkness with danger lurking everywhere, how was he to open up a path for himself? The next day. What? You said that the person who murdered Jia Jin Sheng had already been found and was killed already? Tai Ruo Nan felt extremely perturbed. This morning, she had woken up early and officially started to solve the case. But to think that the first information she got was that the killer had already been sentenced. That's right, the killer is a demonic goo master. He once assassinated our clan's rising star and tried to kill the genius, thus he was killed on the spot. A clan elder provided the information. Is that really so? Did he admit personally that he was Jia Jing Sheng's killer? Tai Ruo Nan frowned deeply. Beside her, Tai Zhu Lang wore a copper mask as he stood like a statue. He didn't. But if it's not him, who else could it be? The clan elder shrugged. Tai Ruo Nan thought internally, this is all an assumption, there is no real proof. But whether it is the truth or not, this demonic goo master has to be investigated clearly. Most likely, this is a lead that will bring us to the truth. Thinking of this, Tai Ruo Nan raised her head abruptly. Where is he buried? I want to inspect the corpse. In a simple and torn coffin, there was a corpse within. The rotting smell assaulted noses, and clan servants and goo masters were so disgusted that they ran far away to hide. Tai family father and daughter acted as if they were unaffected, and Tai Ruo Nan's eyes glowed brightly, excitedly stretching her hand and inspecting. A person's corpse has lots of traces. At times, one or two small injuries would be the evidence needed to point out the murderer. On this corpse, there were many injuries, but the person's appearance was still clear, and he was still wearing his original clothes. Tai Ruo Nan checked for ages, and only then did she get up with a lingering interest. Anything? Tai Zhu Lang asked lightly, testing her secretly. Gu Yu Clan thinks this person is Jia Jin Sheng's killer. Thus, they kept the corpse well. There's a huge problem in this corpse, Tai Ruo Nan answered. He's a middle-aged man, right arm thicker than the left. Both his hands have a thick callus. Seeing how his callus is distributed, they are uneven. There are many injuries on his body, numerous fatal wounds, showing the intense battle he had before death. But on his body there are also a lot of hidden injuries, especially his left foot having three less toes, this is left behind from many years ago. Saying so, she continued deducing, he was most likely a hunter. There are many evidences his disproportional left and right side and the callus on his hands shows that he's an experienced bowman. There are many injures made by wild beasts on his body, like claw marks and bites, showing he often fought against beasts. His clothes are not the traditional Goo Master clothes, and his shoes are even more interesting, weaved from bamboo hemp grass. This kind of grass only grows near King Mao Bamboo, and King Mao Mountain only produces King Mao Bamboo. Other than that, in the surrounding mountains, there is no bamboo hemp grass. So what are you getting at? Tai Zhu Lang pursued. Before this person became a demonic Goo Master, he was a hunter. From his clothes, he was most likely a resident hunter on King Mao Mountain. Tai Ruo Nan's eyes shone brightly. Why do you think he is a resident here? If it is the grass shoes, he could have killed the villagers here and warned them. Tai Zhu Leng rebuked. That's not it. 
the most special part of his clothes is the shoes because if they were taken by force, most would not fit his size perfectly. But look at this, two disproportionate legs, and yet the shoes fit nicely, this is made just for him. He has three less toes on his leg feet, thus the left grass shoe is shorter. His stump is very cleanly cut and sharp. I assume it is most likely due to stepping on a trap by mistake, Tai Ruonan said. Tai Zhu Leng did not deny it nor confirm it and did not even give any criticism. Like what he said earlier, he left it to Tai Ruo Nan to solve the case. Tai Ruo Nan continued saying, With this conjecture, we can go to the surrounding hamlets and investigate. We might find more clues, wait. Just when she was about to speak, the young girl's expression stiffened. She suddenly remembered this King Mao Mountain had just undergone a wolf-tide calamity. Even the villages were heavily damaged, not to mention those hamlets. She knew that using this method to find out the person's identity and information bore little hope. But even if the chances are slim, as long as there is a possibility for success, I must try. It was the young girl's first individual case, and she was full of drive. But half a day passed, and she returned empty-handed. This wolf tide was the largest and most horrifying one yet. So many hamlets had zero survivors, and this brought great trouble to her investigations. This lead is gone. What are you going to do next? Tai Zhu Lang asked at an appropriate time. The young girl gritted her teeth, and in her tone there was stubbornness and tenacity. No, it is not over yet. Father, you said it yourself, the true lead is often hidden more deeply, and as long as we continue to excavate, it will appear. This demonic Gu Master's death is strange. Firstly, why did he assault Fang Zheng? What did Fang Zheng do to offend him, causing him to assassinate him with his life, under the situation which was basically an assured death? Moreover, he is a local, but after his death, why did no one recognize him? Hearing her words, Tai Zhu Leng was a little surprised. Child, you have truly grown up the divine investigator sighed, and in his tone there was contentment and gratification. Chapter 175 Increasing Pressure You're asking me why that goo master came to kill me? How would I know? Facing Tai Ryo Nan's questioning, Fang Zheng blinked innocently. If you have done something, I hope you won't conceal the truth. Because your words, even though they might seem insignificant, can have great help towards solving the case the young girl said sincerely. Fang Zheng shook his head. I'm very perplexed too. During that period, I was cultivating non-stop, so how could I attract any assassinations? But afterwards, the people around me realized that this demonic goo master could have been hired by the other two clans to kill a rising star like myself. You also know the rivalry between us and the Bai clan and Kshun clan. Especially the Chen clan, they are the greatest suspects as they had once recruited demonic goo masters into their clan. Chen clan huh, Tai Ruo Nan became a little discouraged after hearing this, since the Chen clan had already been eliminated by the wolf tide. It seems that this lead is lost as well. Suddenly, murmurs came from outside the room. Quick, look there, isn't that people from the Chen clan? I thought the Xin clan was exterminated, how can there be any envoys coming here? Xin clan envoys' appearance caused a vivid discussion among the village as people talked with one another. Soon, news came from the clan leader pavilion. Xin clan still has a large number of survivors. They retreated on their own, using a goo that their ancestor left behind, concealing many people at the same time, cheating death. These scumbags, retreating and avoiding battle, causing the wolf tide to come to us. HMPH, these Chen clan people may look rough and large, but their hearts are devious on the inside. Wanting to borrow the power of the wolf tide to weaken us, they are too despicable. Gu Yu clansmen were furious. The appearance of the Chen clan envoy had caused the King Mao Mountain's political distribution to undergo a complete shift. What was thought to be a two-sided competition between Bai clan and Gu Yu clan in the end remained a three-way competition. But one would understand once they thought about it. The Chen clan had survived for hundreds of years without falling, they had their own foundations too, 
which clan did not have an ancestor and a trump card. After the Xian clan envoy left, Gu Yubo immediately called for a clan elder meeting. These Xian clan bastards, they really are nothing good. To think they retreated immediately. Can't look down on anyone indeed, Xian clan had always ranked behind our clan and Bai clan and was the weakest among the forces on King Mao Mountain. But to think they had such a scheme, we have to be more careful from now on. They wanted to borrow the strength of the wolf tide to eliminate us. They nearly got us this time, if not for that lightning lichen, we might not have lost so many elders. These people deserve to die. If it wasn't for the Thai divine investigator appearing, two clan leaders might have died. We cannot let them off simply. Asking for compensation is a must. It was us and Bai clan working together to settle the problem of the lightning lichen. But to ask for compensation, we need to first discuss and formulate a sum. The clan elders spoke one after another, discussing until they had a conclusion. Gu Yu clan would dispatch an envoy towards the Qin clan. They have to observe Qin clan's remaining strength. If Qin clan was strong, they would join forces with the Bai clan. If the Qin clan was weak, they might send people to eliminate them and steal the spirit spring. So then, who would be suitable enough to be dispatched to Qing clan? Gu Yu Bo looked around asking, which clan elder would shoulder this responsibility? The hall immediately became silent. The clan elders look around at each other. No one was willing to go. The internal conflict was at its peak now, and it was the most crucial moment for the factions to divide the interest cake. If they went to the Qin clan, their faction would be without a leader and others would make use of the opportunity. When they return, all would have been decided, so by then who would they complain to? This old one feels that, to go to the Qin clan, someone of seniority and experience must go, it has to be someone who can hold his own. Among all of us here, only Elder Mo Chen can take on this role, Gu Yu Yao Jai suddenly said. Gu Yu Mo Chen snorted, rebuking, speaking of qualification, Lord Yao Jai has much more experience than me. Especially in terms of fame, I cannot compete at all, I admit complete defeat. Going to the Qin clan, it seems we will have to trouble Lord Yao Jai after all. Elder Mo Chen is extremely right, I recommend Lord Yao Jai. A clan elder stood up. I feel that Lord Mo Chen is a more suitable candidate. Another elder immediately rebuked. The scene was chaotic. Gu Yu Bo stood at the leader's seat, staring coldly without making a sound. The medicine faction already had intentions of detaching into its own force, no longer under his control. Thus he did not want to help either and merely observed the scene. This was the first contest between the medicine faction and the Mo faction. The two had their respective political allies, but the current situation was that both leaders made much compromises as well as exchange of benefits, but on a whole, the medicine faction was stronger. Gu Yu Yao Jai's reputation as well as the Kai faction's inclination caused this situation. Gu Yu Bo stared coldly, noting in his heart the factions that each individual belonged to. As the clan leader, he did not want to see his authority being reduced, and these elders were his competitors. But now he had decided to merely observe and not strike yet. Mo faction controls too much power and resources, and now that they have lost their inheritor, the medicine faction jumped out hurriedly and tried to attack them. Thus, the most crucial aspect of this contest is all on one person. Gu Yu Bo thought silently, turning his gaze towards Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan had been sitting in his seat, not saying a word. It seems this Fang Yuan isn't very close with the Mo faction and has not gotten a mutual agreement on interest distribution. Otherwise, he'd have helped out already. Is this my chance? Gu Yu Bo thought. But at this moment, Fang Yuan suddenly stood up from his seat. This action attracted everyone's attention. What he said next was a shocker. Going as an envoy, this is an important matter involving the survival of our clan. I am willing to step up, bearing the responsibility of an envoy, and investigate the Xiang clan's current state for our clan. What? Fang Yuan is asking to go? 
What is the meaning of this? Is he really stupid or acting stupid? Isn't he afraid that when he comes back, all the interests would have been distributed away already? The clan elders all showed expressions of shock. Fang Yuan had his own plans. If he went to the Qing clan, he might be able to find a chance and instigate a conflict among the three clans. Even if he can't, this is a chance to leave. Wait, anyone here can be the envoy but Fang Yuan alone? The door suddenly opened and Tai Ruo Nan walked in, barging her way in. Fang Yuan turned his body to look and his irises shrunk a little. He saw the Tai family father and daughter walk in, as well as two other people behind them. One looked just like Fang Yuan, it is indeed his brother Gu Yu Fang Zheng, while the other was Gu Yu Zhang He. What does Thai Divine Investigator have to enlighten us on today? Gu Yu Bo stood up to greet him, his tone slightly unhappy. This was a Gu Yu internal discussion, how could they just barge in like that? Gu Yu clan leader, as well as the other elders, my daughter has already investigated the identity of the demonic Gu Master that once assaulted Gu Yu Fang Zheng, Tai Zhu Leng spoke. Oh, is that so? That demonic Gu Master, wasn't he instigated by the Xin clan? Is there a hidden story behind this? Indeed, this demonic Gu Master's true identity is a hunter from a hamlet at the base of the mountain. Only by chance did he manage to become a demonic Gu Master, his name is Wang Er. The reason why he assaulted Gu Yu Fang Zheng is because of his brother Fang Yuan. Saying so, Tai Ruo Nan stared intently at Fang Yuan. Brother, to think you are such a person. Fang Zheng standing at one side clenched his fist, showing rage in his eyes. What do you mean by this, young lady? Gu Yu Mo Chen said in a solemn voice. Don't tell me, Fang Yuan is the one that hired this demonic Gu Master to assassinate his own brother Fang Zheng? Gu Yu Yao Jai showed an excited expression. Even Gu Yu Bo was taken aback as he adjusted his posture on his seat. You're all mistaken. Tai Ruo Nan shook her head. The truth is, Fang Yuan killed innocent people, murdering old man Wang's entire family, causing Wang Gur to take revenge. But Wang Er did not know that Fang Yuan had a twin brother, thus he mistook Fang Zheng for Fang Yuan and assaulted him for revenge. Young lady, everything needs proof, a clan elder spoke. Of course I have evidence. Gu Yu Zhang He, tell us everything that you know. Tai Ryo Nan was prepared for this, not panicking. Gu Yu Zhang He sighed. He looked at the Tai family father and daughter in fear, slowly walking forward and kneeling on the ground, crying, It is this subordinate's dereliction of duty. I seek clan leader's punishment. Gu Yu Bo's face was grim as water. Say everything clearly first. Do not hide anything from us. Back then, when Fang Yuan killed old man Wang's family, it was under Gu Yu Zhang He's area of jurisdiction, and only when he got to the spot did he discover it. Because of the clan evaluation, he suppressed this matter and did not report it. Never would he have thought that today the matter would be exposed, dug up by Tai Ruo Nan. The truth is like this. Zhang he stammered as he spoke, not adding any details into his descriptions, very simple and truthful. At this time and place, he did not dare to lie. Fang Yuan was also a clan elder, so he did not dare to exaggerate facts. I never would have thought that the truth would be like this. Fang Yuan killed Wang Er's father, and Wang Er came to take revenge, but found Fang Zheng instead. So that's it. Fang Zheng was innocently involved and blocked the crisis for Fang Yuan. The clan elders whispered among themselves. Fang Zheng's clenched fist was even tighter as rage grew in his heart. He could not help but growl at Fang Yuan. Brother, how can you take people's lives away so easily? That old man and girl, they were innocent mortals. How could you cut them down? Facing his brother's accusations, Fang Yuan was indifferent, as if he did not hear it. Gu Yu Fang Zheng was not the main point. Fang Yuan looked at the Tai family father and daughter. Being able to discover the truth in such a short time, they were indeed divine investigators. Regardless of what goo worms they used, whatever method to make Zhang he submit and reveal his own secret, they had their ways. 
This ability made Fang Yuan even more certain that the matter of him killing Jia Jin Sheng would definitely be found out by the Tai father and daughter duo. It was only a matter of time. After all this is the Gu world where Gu can be used to commit crime and also used to solve crime. Pressure was intensifying. 